education, and then ideally we want to have a community that's sufficiently appealing and has the right environment that they want to bring that passion and their skills and their education back home uh, and start a business here. Mm -hmm. Well, in my view, that's really perfect for why I'm here. I want to give you an opportunity that we're not offering many businesses right now. Since we are starting to grow, we want to find businesses that more fully complement our mission and can be really strong partners with us so that we don't dilute the ideals for which we stand. And we see ICA as just that type of partner. Okay. May I, show you, may I show you then some um, opportunities that I would suggest for ICA? Because of the uniqueness of your business, if you will look at this with me. Can I put it on my desk? <laughs> <laughs> what I want to offer you right now is an opportunity to be a presenting sponsor of Be Heard TV. And here are the benefits that you have for doing this. You get an opening closing graphic of the show during the six-week production cycle. Tell me what. Oh, I see. And that's, that's, and by, okay. that's an example. Okay. Just like you see on NPR or, or PBS. I was just going to ask you if that's the kind of thing you have in mind. Exactly. You get, we produce three 30-second spots to be included in each show for you. We produce a 2.5-minute 2, 2 infomercial segment, and that is a longer two-and-a-half-minute uh, advertisement for ICA and or the work that you do with downtown. Hmm. Okay. How many spots would you, would you say those were? Three 30 Three second 30 spots seconds. in each show. How many shows were there going to be? 16, 16 shows. Show. Okay, so that's so it. You see, that, that is great coverage. Uh -huh. uh, you will be broadcast internationally. So not only will you get the attention of the audience you're directly looking for, but people around the world will hear of ICA. Doesn't that sound enticing to you? Scary. <laughs> and, and Glenwood and its downtown partnership. I know the downtown partnership is, is nationwide, isn't it? Uh, well, not the Glenwood. Well, not the Glenwood. Yeah, the, but certainly the, the Main the Street program. program that we use is a program used by over uh, 1,400 communities around the country. And you can advertise that you are on uh, Be Heard TV to all of these offices around the U.S., and they can see what you're doing okay. and the types of programs you're supporting. Uh, the rates are guaranteed for two years if you join now by December 15th, if you be agree to become our sponsor. Now, does that mean I'm sponsoring for two years or? No, you're sponsoring for one year, but the rate is good for next year as well. I see. Okay. Also, you get shared ownership of the infomercial. You can use it on radio if you want, other television stations, wherever you want. And this is no extra cost. Hmm. And your investment is a mere $5,000 for the year. Well, that's a lot of money. Yes, it is a lot of money, but look what you get for it. Can, can you think of any other program that offers you this much advertising for that amount? Well, um, I mean, the benefits package is fairly impressive. Um, it, tell me, again, a little bit more about your viewing audience. Um, you know, we're trying to reach probably... Uh, uh, Adults, uh, maybe in the 30 to 60 age range, tend to be active in, in their community. They tend to be you know, sensitive to community issues and responding to community uh, uh, problems and that sort of thing. That's true. We do get a lot of adults because, you know, if kids are on television, the parents want to see them. Sure. And we're going to produce a type of program that will incorporate kids from around the state almost on a week. But also, we have a weekly segment where we Skype in kids from all over the world to talk about. Now, now tell, well, tell me a little bit more about the show itself. Um, what, what's, what's it going to, how's it going to work? The show is produced at BR TV Studios. We have two uh, hosts on the air, teenagers. Okay. All the technical people, teenagers. All the support people, teenagers. All the uh, people who are the community development people, as me, teenagers. So you mean when you say community development people, you mean sales people? So, oh, okay. Uh -huh. So that's what we're doing. But 
I'm more particularly interested in your outreach to young entrepreneurs because that will help you to grow that program within ICA faster and more fully. Um, okay, I, you know, I understand that, and I think that uh, establishing ourselves as a potential resource to young people is important. Um, I'm, let me think return on investment for a minute. Okay. If I'm going to invest, spend five thousand um, dollars. Not spending it. <laughs> well, how is it? How am I not spending it? I mean, because the return is when since since the schools really support True Media Foundation, which is a uh, organ, organization that supports the RTD, so the school boards really support. Uh, true media, you have an inroad into the educational systems. Okay, which is of interest certainly. Um, we've been, we've done some work with some youth, uh, you know, some students in some of the high schools. I know. We'd like to do more of that. Um, my partner in that was kind of weak though. Um, <laughs> but in terms of the return on investment, now getting my image established is one thing. How about um, I want to inspire some response on the part of the the uh, well, let's let's say the audience, the audience to want to inquire about ICA, to want to inquire about the partnership or the PTAC. That's where your infomercials and your commercials come in. Mm -hmm. You can make a call for action in those oh. to inquire about that. Nothing wrong with that. But here's something that's even more enticing. You can use this support when you're writing for grants to foundations and other entities. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. I hadn't thought about that. It's kind of like adding it to our resume. In exactly. The sense exactly. Of community service. And whereas the, the the return is not a monetary concern, it's certainly a great social return. And monetary when the foundations say, well, we want to support this because they support you. What's the large, what's the demographic of the say, largest portion of your audience? Uh, I would say from about 12 years old to 18, 19. Um, they're basically high school kids, but we get some overflow on each side. Mm -hmm. And one thing that we're doing is because the show is young and you're getting on the ground floor, which is, makes your investment so small, mm -hmm. you will grow with the program because the program needs viewers to grow, but we need the investment to grow the program. Um, okay. Now, I'm going to go back to my, uh, we've got really dual targets here that I'm trying to satisfy with if I were, were to make this investment. And I can see where you could call this an investment. Um, yeah, we want to reach out to the students, to the youth, then we also want to reach out to their parents. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know a thing about making a you know infomercial or a 60 second promotional piece, and I I don't want this to be like an ad, like you know buy from us or buy this or what. No, we want this to be more of a sophisticated. Yeah, we want this to self sure. We want this to be something that is that is that communicates. The reality of what we do, and that is serve communities in the interest of communities. And, and I don't know how to communicate that kind of thing. Is there? I'm you glad you us? brought that. I'm glad you brought that up because I didn't mention it before. The kids do produce, but they're guided by adults who are experts in their field. I see. The president of, of True Media Foundation has been in the TV production industry for over 60 years. <laughs> We have, we have, we have, he doesn't look today over at 80 <laughs> We have marketing experts who have done marketing uh, for the government down to the small independent uh, business owner. So we will help you to do this. We will help you script, etc. Okay, well that's good. So if I want to say communicate a message to the to the youth viewing audience that can also then be translated or transferred by them to the adult audience, you, you're 
teams can help us do that. We tailor it to your needs. So that's that's appealing. I'll tell you, still, you know, the five thousand bucks is it's 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 I think a fair level to put on this. I mean, because the benefits are impressive, but it's just a lot of money. I'm not sure. When do you, how soon do you need a commitment? I, I, I may need to go back and see, uh, you know, what kind of resources we have available. Uh, how, how long would it take you to find that? Well, I'll have to. I don't know. Uh, well, I mean, I know you don't. I got several things I have to do. I know you don't. Know. But if you knew, when would it be? Uh, well, I've got to talk to our treasurer and. And I don't know, I think he may be out of town this week, uh, maybe next week or the week after. Mm -hmm. But this does look like a worthwhile uh, package that you might want to get involved with. Well, I think the package is worthwhile. Um, I'll tell you, there's two steps that, that I think we would need to take before we can make a commitment. First of all, is see what kind of a, an impact this has on our invested resources, because, you know, we do have resources invested for these kind of outreach programs as part of the way we serve mm -hmm. uh, and see how those are positioned to be freed up. Some are like in long-term bonds and those kind of things. You know. and, and then we'll have to take this proposal to our board because ultimately this is not in our budget this year. It's a new opportunity and I look at it that way. Uh, but ultimately we have to, uh, we'd have to take the uh, decision to our board uh, to approve. Okay. Now, I must tell you that time is critical for us because we're starting our production in January. Uh, well, our board meets monthly, so. Okay, so you could have a meeting before then? I would, we would expect to have at least one meeting before the end of the year. Well, I'll tell you what. Would you like for me to speak with your board about this presentation and the opportunity it provides? I would love to do that. Well, would you feel comfortable making a presentation to our board? Absolutely. Uh, Just tell me when. Because I know we can... We put that on the, our agenda. I mean, I do have the authority to uh, put an item on the agenda. So, um, and, if, and if I can't do it, one of our senior advisors here, Jerry or Tom, can uh, do this for us. I think it would be a lot more impressive if you did the presentation. We would try yourself. as much as possible. When are your board meetings? In, during the day or in the evening? We do meet in the evening. Uh, a, lot of our, a lot of our members are working during the we day. We can provide somebody to do this. Okay. No, it wouldn't conflict with the school thing. Okay, so let, let's let's settle on a date when this happens, and then we'll follow up then, or just before then. Well, I'll tell you what I'd like to do. Let's take it. Let's go through the first step first. Let me talk to my treasurer and have him look at our investments and make sure that we can free something up. Because there's no sense in going to the board if we can't have liquid assets available by the end of the you know. So when so, would you like for me to follow up? Now, well, let's put it on the calendar. Okay, um, I'll tell you what, uh, Steve gets back at the oh, after the weekend, so give me a few days for him to, how about Thursday of next week, would that be okay? Would, would calling in the morning or afternoon be? Better? Usually the mornings are better. Okay, and that would No, be the afternoons. Okay, what, what date is that? Can we, can we, can we solidify it on the calendar and I'll just give you a call? What's a week from Thursday? Let's, let's say it's the 13th. Okay, let's say it is. Okay, so... Here's your calendar, would you just as a reminder so that you don't lose time? <laughs> uh, okay, I have it on I have it on my calendar. Okay, then Tom, great talking with you and we'll talk again on Thursday. Very very good, thank you. Looks like a good program, Jerry. Thank you. Take care.